1130, The Tiger. My name is Greg Adams. This is our new video series called The Board. Joining me, we have Puff down on the end, Jay Watley right here in the middle. Uh, what we have figured out is that each of us have common favorites or common uh, interests that all intersect, but we can't agree on any of them. So as we were talking yesterday about professional wrestling, actually this might have started two days ago. We started talking about professional wrestling. We started what? making lists. And what, what ended up happening was, as we all realized, we enjoy professional wrestling. We all enjoy different parts of it. We all, uh, whether it's old school wrestling or some new school stuff, we can talk about it while viewing it completely differently. So we went out and got ourselves some whiteboards. We got ourselves some markers. We decided to sit down and write out a list of our top five. And then we're going to sit here and, and debate, maybe, our top five favorite wrestlers. I've been, I'm willing to bet that only one of my five could lie on one of your two lists. Probably. And, You're weird. And that's really because you guys have horrible taste in wrestling. That's, no, well, I think what a, lot, what a lot of it has to do is that we watch for different reasons. That's true. Like, there's different things. When we start talking about wrestling, I start talking about uh, not only what the guys do in the ring, but what they mean outside of the ring. And then Puff's talking about it, looking at only how technical a wrestler is. <laughs> well, not just how, just what they do in the world of wrestling. That, that's Chris Benoit thing. is his favorite See, wrestler. It's going to be number one, no doubt. No. <laughs> uh, no. But that's why we want to do this, because our lists are going to be completely different, but we're also going to have reactions to the list to where when I say my number four, those two are going to sit there and go, oh, I can see that. And it's going to be for different reasons, but it still won't make their list. So let's let it play out. We're going to start. I will start with my number five, and I'm going to have to reflect my notes. I don't want you guys to see it because I want your honest reactions. Uh, Look at this guy with notes. What, hey, he's got notes too. So let's oh, go. Pansies. Number five. Uh, I want to see it. You will. I'm not even going to write his name because you guys don't even need it. He's doing a lot of writing over there. Number five. Oh Roy my gosh. That is, this, this bit is over from the start. Chris Jericho is one of my favorite That's wrestlers so of all time. Uh, is this because of the Fozzy thing? No, it's not even the music thing. Uh, what he did in WCW with zero support. Zero support. Built a resume that he was then able to transition the moment that Chris Jericho, when the Y2J clock yeah, right. runs I'm, out, yeah, that's for sure. That's one of the top ten greatest moments in professional wrestling history, and everything he did after that point was gold. What do you think about that, Puff? No comment. I can't get on the Jericho. I, I, I like Jericho as a person. I've interviewed him a few times, talked to him. You've offended him a few times. I've offended him a few times, but uh, I'd be more surprised if you didn't. Uh, <laughs> but he, as far as wrestling, there's so many other better choices. But it's your favorite. I mean, it's whatever floats your boat. If Jericho just never, he was always that second tier guy to me, you know? Just If there's a better choice, there. show it to me. Now, before I write this one down. <laughs> Here we go. We're already starting. I have <laughs> never watched one match of his. Oh, but that, you, oh, don't need really? to, you don't need to watch a match to have a favorite wrestler. Because he is my, he's one of my favorites. Never seen one match. Ladies I'm, and gentlemen. I'm embarrassed. He is on right. this list. I don't even know how to spell his last name. Is it I before E or E before I? It depends on what the name oh, is. I'm just going to go for it. That looks appropriate. Just make it to where All you need to it. know is he is the real, he is the legend, and he will make you humble. The Iron Sheik. Oh, is my God. Fifth because his post wrestling career is the only reason he is relevant in 2015, and you can't deny his relevancy. It's his Twitter account. His I love the Sheiky Baby. The Sheiky Baby. His Howard Stern appearances, they're too good to be true. He will break your back, and he will make you humble. If he is not on your list, my back is will remain healthy. I go back to what you said originally about about no one on your list making my list. Yes. I believe you now. Yes. I believe everyone. Well the Sheik the Sheik is the only one that I put on there based purely upon my uh my love for him. I just love the Iron Sheik. You know what I gotta be honest, I don't know if I ever watched a Sheik match all the way through. I, well I I I've seen I, highlights. I didn't see the Hogan wrestler. the big Hogan match that he references get out of here. <laughs> he references some Hogan Don't match give me a camel time. clutch. No. All right. Actually, I hope the Iron Sheik sees this video and sees how we respond to this. I, do too, I love the Sheik. He will bring the thunder down upon us because we are jabronis. Broken, yes, we are. Broken back. All right. Following that mess. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a It's time for my 
number five, and I guarantee you neither of you are. The Iron Sheik is a respectable wrestler, okay? Here's, here's what he's going to do right now. He's going to have something ridiculous. Like, he's going to take somebody from the, the top hurricane. of the mountain. Uh, you the remember hurricane? hurricane? Yeah, that's what he's going to do right now. Hurricane Chris Helms. <laughs> no. Mine? Oh, Yokozuna. Uh, yes. No, that's not a horrible. Hey, that's not favorite. horrible. Well, as far as big men in wrestling go, he so was you, one of the most agile. Uh, and he's been in some legendary matches, including his uh, run with The Undertaker, first casket match you ever. You should have took notes. <laughs> you forgot. That's the yeah. only thing you can think of. You're telling me out of all the wrestlers of the world, there's only four that you like more than him. Hey, when I started watching wrestling, Yokozuna was the man. He was involved in some of the major rivalries in early WWE. Uh, in fact, out of all the uh, the original WWE games, like uh, Raw uh, for Genesis. In Your House and all yep. those crazy He was always games. on the marquee. Him and Doink the Clown. It was yeah. a toss up between Doink. him and Doink. Doink. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sure. But I'm I, sure I had Doink is your number four. I had to go with Yoku. I, oh, I might have to change my list now. <laughs> you brought Doink up. You're I'm not changing for Yokozuna. Who's your fourth? Yeah, oh. you gotta go four. Right, we'll go four right. back this way, so you get to double dip. I wrote my thing a little too big. That's fine, just but, squeeze it in. Uh, that's At this point, no one's gonna care about your... <laughs> wow. Yeah, you've lost them after your fifth, I can assure you. I think I think I win number fives if you put Jericho, you, Iron Chris, Sheik, and get, Yokozuna. You're telling me... People that like me that do not really watch wrestling and, and fully are into it, they all know Iron Sheik and love the Sheiky mm. baby. I bet if you ask Joe Blow off the street, their top five, Sheik will be on. No. All right. Well, all right. The Sheik. I'm going with another dead big guy. Oh. Bam, bam, yeah. big guy. All right, yeah. I saw that one coming. As far as. Uh, he would probably one. put up, put over more top-notch wrestlers than anyone else in the world of professional wrestling. He is one of the best bad guys of the generation. No doubt. Not to mention, uh, aside from where most people know him in the WWF and WCW in the early years there, he was also just awesome in ECW. Yeah. So his matches with New Jack, uh, Shane Douglas, and a few of those guys were just legendary. When you have a head tattoo that matches your <laughs> wrestling onesie, then you got it. Not to mention when you're 400 pounds and can launch yourself over the top rope like a 180 pound guy. There's something to be said for that. I respect that one way more than Yokozuna. <laughs> I, I will take Fair enough. Bam Bam at four and feel better about it than Yokozuna at five. We're Fair just going to make this a top four list. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> I, I, let me tell you something. I'm ashamed of you both for not having him on your list if you don't. When you think daredevils of the sport, he is the tip top of that ice cream. He's not. Don't do not what you think I'm going to do. Not on my list. I he is the now. tip. There, no one did more entertaining uh, stunts night in and night out than this one. He deserves to be on everyone's top five list. He is one half. What was it? Was it the Hardy Boys? Yeah, uh, boy. Was that the thing? Yeah. I kind of I kind of felt. Jeff was... Hardy is one of the most impressive wrestlers to ever wrestle. Impressive wrestlers ever. might be a bold statement. Oh, they, what? I will sell out a yeah, I'm telling you, it doesn't no matter other. if he's opening the show or he's wrestling in the main event. When he is wrestling, you watch because you don't know what's going If he's happen. sober, he's great. I, I can't argue with that. I like that more than Sheik. I like the that Sheik more than Bam Bam, Bam Bigelow at four. I like, I like Jeff Hardy at four more than I like Jericho at five. That's a lot. Of, that that means a lot to me. That's that's a Jeff Hardy's. A, he's just like I said. When he when in his prime, obviously not TNA, uh, not TNA days. He's uh, he's you know WWE. He's jumping off a cage down. TL, down TLC to the TLC ladder matches. Doing a fall. Oh, he's the best. Can't beat him. Right. I had trouble finding three more than Jeff Hardy. This one is kind of odd, and and as soon as we started talking about doing this <laughs> idea. I started making my case for this guy secretly. Um, <laughs> this, all right, this, I was not watching professional wrestling and I missed out on this guy and I'm upset that I did. So in retrospect, even though I didn't watch any oh. of his matches, CM Punk is number four on my list. Even mm. though I don't, I didn't get to sit down and watch him do and what he did yeah. in real time. But the magic of the WWE Network and, and the internet and being able to go back and watch the pipe bombs that he layeth down. The uh, Heyman guy. guy. He's a Paul Heyman guy, which Paul Heyman, if we weren't talking about like wrestlers, Paul Heyman would be on my list. Um, 
But CM Punk on the mic, in the ring, best in the world. I'm upset with myself that I didn't get to see it in real time. The promo he cut with Cena laying in the, in the ring, and he sits, he sits down Indian style on the ramp and just goes off until they cut the mic. I mean, without that, is he even on your list? Without that promo? That promo alone puts him on the list. Right. But all of the other pipe bomb promos around that, the, the Comic-Con event with the belt where he interrupts Man. Triple H, that he did things, he innovated in a time when you thought that there was never going to be innovation again. That's because true. after you had the Hardys come in with ladder matches, like where can they go next? They're now in this PG-13 era, what can they really do? CM Punk comes and just does away with everything. Yes. If it wasn't for the PG era, he'd probably be an even bigger star than he actually was. Yeah, and that's... I will take that. Now, number three is where you guys are really going to lose your minds on me. <laughs> this is where... That happened at five, brother. <laughs> no, this is going to be the one... Oh, man. This is going to be the one that you guys are upset because of the fact that it's three and not higher. Ooh. Don't do... Stone no! Oh, brother. What? <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin at three, uh, and I think once I go two and one, It'll make sense. I know it seems weird sitting at three right now. The, the casual fan, when they think wrestling, that most, I'm sure, would, would put Stone Cold right in their, on their mind right then. I mean, he is... He is Let's just bottom line here. this, because Stone Cold's got, <laughs> obviously got a man's ass to walk. So I, I man. grew up with the wrestling buddy toys, where I was diving and doing elbow drops off my bunk beds. I had the Ultimate Warrior one. I had a uh, Hulk Hogan one. Like that was the era that I really got into wrestling. And then I was kind of out of it a little bit when like Vader was the big name and when you had like this kind of weird, you didn't know what it was anymore. And then when the Attitude Era, era came in, I really went right. in. It's a lot. Of, I mean, we're talking mid 90s, late 90s. Mid to late 90s, like from 96 yeah. through 99, the greatest three years in professional wrestling history. Yeah. That guy had my attention. Mm -hmm. Whether I was bouncing between WCW and WWF at the time, uh, I was doing whatever your else was. We were watching too. We were watching both. We wanted to see. And then all of a sudden, this guy comes out and starts taking away all of that attention that the NWO had. And once he shows up, and The Rock shows up, and DX is there, he led the charge, but he was the reason that my face was glued to that TV. In a world of pure, pure just fakeness, I mean, everything is yes. scripted. <laughs> he, he truly made you believe that what he, what he was doing was just, they said everything else scripted, Stone Cold, you just do whatever you want. You, you just got do, 10 you, minutes. Just, just yeah. do whatever you want. Here's a mic, here's 10 minutes, here are two should. beers. Do I thought it would be higher. Yeah. All right. All right, who's three on you? You're ready for this oh, one. Boy. Uh, now that's the question. That stupid smile. Just... See, see, I preface mine knowing that, like, hey, I'm going to get in trouble here. And he just smiles because he knows whatever he writes. I, but see, the thing is, is that if you can truly say that there was a more exciting wrestler than this one, who is more exciting than Jeff Hardy? He is the one. And his longevity in the sport. And believe it or not, the guy has some serious accomplishments. If He's won just about every belt you can win. And a lot of people don't know that or understand that. And I'm talking about the masked one. Yep. Ray freaking Mysterio. And he killed the guy. <laughs> now that's inappropriate. That should he not come out of your top five. I don't know if they can prove that he I, had anything to do with that freak accident. I don't, Ray, I don't argue that. When he's on, the, he, he has the Jeff Hardy effect where, you know, especially when he came to WWE, and they put him on a platform. He's the only one that had that special entrance. They put him on a platform underneath the arena. And as soon as his, you know, 619 music would come on, he'd shoot up in the air. I'm telling you, Rey Mysterio, WCW, and then when he bulked up and started winning championships, he won championships. He won heavyweight he won championship. championship. Right. Yeah, that's... I mean, he, the guy has accomplishments, and he's been doing it for a long time. Rey Mysterio at three. Don't argue it. That's... That's a that's a good choice, but not nearly as good at my pick. Have we had have we had any crossover yet? I don't think we'd have one. Uh, I think that I didn't think you'd have Stone Cold on your list. To be honest, really? With you. Yeah. Well, the the hallway talks led me to believe that he would be on the cusp of making a top five. I no, didn't think you'd have him. He's on. on a top five favorite list. All right. You ready for my number three? You're not right. This guy is probably one of the most legendary men in ECW, uh -oh. WCW, WWF, and WWE, Bully and Ray. TNA. Bully Ray. The one and only 
I mean, the guy, when it comes to making a match happen, he doesn't care if he breaks his neck, doesn't breaks his care. arm, gets knocked unconscious. You know what? That's going to look great for the fans. Throw me 60 feet off it. Of He's the only WWE superstar to ever uh, compete three times as three different characters in one in Royal Rumble. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, for that reason alone, no issue with that. He, the, the thing for me, I, again, these are a lot of things that I didn't watch real time. These are things that I had to go back and watch <laughs> in, in past tense. Uh, the Terry Funk Mick Foley match. Oh, with, the barbed wire match. The barbed wire and the exploding paper and tearing part of his arm off and still going through the match. Missing an ear. Uh, <laughs> dude, that's... Mick Foley can be on anyone's top five list. I will have if, no problem. Yeah, no one should ever have an issue with Mick Foley. He's either. a guy that could be like on the cusp. Like if I'm going to move Jericho out for anybody, it would probably be Mick Foley. I can't believe that you. I still can't believe you have. Chris I enjoy Jericho Chris Jericho. Jericho. I can't believe. <laughs> it. I enjoy. Well, I do Chris too. Jericho. But I had Mick Foley is a good one. Mick Mick Foley Foley he's just. A, he's just. Can, and you know the thing is he. He didn't look like a wrestler. No. There was nothing the about him He's that said wrestler, but the guy could come out and perform. As you move with, the, with a sock in your mouth. <laughs> at one point. Yeah. 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 All right. Two? All right, I was going to say, is yeah. this where we get crossover? Do we get crossover at two? Uh, not so far. Well, okay. All right. I know my number two is not going to cross over on anyone's list, so if we don't have crossover by the time it gets down here, we're going to be in trouble. We'll have a crossover here in about... Ten seconds. Okay. <laughs> you think? I know the cross. Well, after you, I can tell you the crossover is coming. All right, my number two. So right now. Woo! Ah. The Nature Boy. Are you gonna put your number one there? There. Uh, He's gonna have to put it down to the bottom. Gonna, I'm gonna erase nice the whole thing. Uh, All right, I see. But yeah, Nature. Really I mean, come on, man. The guys. Did you enjoy his slapstick wrestling I, style though? The the uh, super unreal. Like if you suck well, on a Jesse. He can sell. Like a, he his can, promos, his selling in yeah. the ring. One of the biggest moments I remember in WCW history is he got pissed off at Sting or whoever the champion was, and he stripped down to his underwear in the ring and was strutting around, slapping around Gene Okerlund, yeah. just pissed off, raging, and it was one He's of the good. most enter when, electrifying. When Ric Flair comes whoa, out, whoa, 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 that's not his. <laughs> Well, well, no, wait a second. I just said he is. It's, a, he is it's not his word. Okay. He is an electrifying human He is being. not the most electrifying man in Oh, my God. And I think we know where his pick's going. But, uh, I mean, Ric Flair, what can he say? Kiss stealing, wheeling, dealing, jet flying, limousine riding, son of a gun. Do you guys ever see the episode time. of Wife Swap? Keeping these gators down. <laughs> Woo! Do you see Wife Swap where he was on it? And the other wife, it was Roddy Roddy Piper's wife. And I, she was like, I cannot stay with this I've man. never seen an episode of Wife I take that back. I've seen one episode of Wife Swap. I would watch it to see Ric Flair. Ric Flair and Ro Rowdy Roddy Piper's wife switched. And Rowdy Roddy Piper just hated it. Because it was like, I can't keep up with this guy. He has like a 21-year-old. All right. Number two. The crossover. All right. I know who it is. My I wanted I want I, I you thought want about him at, you want, want him at one, but I know who your one is. My so one my one. one is just a biased one, and that's which all is, there is. Which to here's it. what's going to happen. That's going to be weird. You're going to leave a guy off your top five list that is going to leave people with their head scratching. I th you might leave him off too. This is going to be wrong. This is going to be so wrong that you two if leave you this out. Who list. you're talking about deserves to be? It's a favorite list, and I never was impressed with him. Not in the movies, and not in the ring. And that's enough out of you, because I'm going Stone Cold Steve Austin. And that's the bottom line, because Jay Watley said so. Two is as good as he deserves to be on a, on a list of a guy with my type of, you know, wrestling knowledge. <laughs> Two is uh, Stone Cold, though, seriously. The guy, like I said earlier, just get out there, just go. We have, we're, we're running, we're running, you know. Short. We're, we're short. We need you to stretch. Just go out there and just do whatever you want. Go insult Undertaker yeah. for 15 minutes. <laughs> Doesn't matter what you're gonna say to him. Stone Cold, and he's and he's and it's true to his character. You know, you hear so many stories about people that run into Stone Cold outside of wrestling, and he is Stone Cold Steve Austin. It is who he is, and uh, and Stone Cold's a good, solid number two. Can't argue. Can't argue. How could you? You want this whole thing to go off the rails right now? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, the pressure, man. Vincent K. Oh McMahon. Oh my gosh. Number no, two. No, no, come on. You know what? Number come two. On, I can't man. argue that. I almost put Shane O'Mac in my top five. 
Because those two, Vince, just the McMahons in you're general. T- there's only one wrestler that you enjoyed more than Vince McMahon. Think about who wrestled how many matches in his career? Oh, he, he oh, wrestled dozens, dozens of matches. Okay, to but, twelve compared to. But those matches, those times where you got a chance to see Vince get dropped by somebody. A yeah. kiss my ass match where he lost. I mean, come on. If you want to talk about somebody like Bam Bam Bigelow putting guys over for an extended period of time. That's all Vince is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 30 years of putting guys over. What it's... about when he marches down doing the Vince strut all the way down the ring and he goes in and he like tears his ACL in half. What about the He does fact... the whole promo from his butt on the ring. What about the fact that a guy who is the heel shows up and does the strut and the music hits and everyone yeah. cheers? This goes nuts. Like that guy, it... Yeah. Whatever he does outside of the ring and whatever people say he holds certain guys back or he does things to ruin the, the whole thing, his ability to just, again, I'm going to have to borrow a word that I yelled at you for using, but electrify. He is the original most electrifying man in sports entertainment. Vince McMahon is your so second good. favorite wrestler. So good. So good. I know where you're going with number one. Because there's That's, only, he's the reason I thought you were gonna leave Stone Cold off. I thought your love for him. One answer. I think there's two or three. There's only one answer to somebody's favorite from our generation. The most electrifying man in sports oh entertainment, my The gosh. Rock. Dwayne. I knew. The I saw Rock it coming Johnson. before we even started. Rolling. There's one person missing from both of y'all's list. That's just very. Difficult. I know exactly who it is, and. And I thought it was going to be on your list, but I know it's not. Absolutely but, not. But The Rock <laughs> being absent from both of your guys' list is... its sad. I think, look, The Rock was always annoying to me, personally. I didn't like the, the bits. It I doesn't liked, matter what you like. <laughs> I like, I, well, I think you, especially when Stone Cold and The Rock are going at it, you got to pick sides there, man. I pick sides. No, you don't. You got to. I, I just don't like what like they did together. Hey, you, you know, know what? It's magic. It was poetry. Greg, for you. 5.5, The Rock. Yeah, all right. Okay, right. The Rock is now my sixth choice. All right. a, a solid <laughs> six for me. But right. I just didn't like, I don't like him in the movies. I don't like him in the other. He's had bad movies, but he's had great movies, too. I don't too. like him. I wouldn't movie. call Fast and the Furious 7 great. And that's not what I was Now, if we're about. talking about best wrestlers of all time, he'd be in my top three. But favorites, I just didn't like them. I'd much rather watch. You know, he theoretically could replace the Iron Sheik because I never watched him. <laughs> but the Iron Sheik, he's just so funny. He's so funny. I know where your number one goes. My number one is is very simple. When you think the soul of a brand, right? Loyal. A dead brand. Always a very <laughs> dead brand. Always, always, always uh, handle business the right way. Always the ultimate good guy, the guy you can root for. Have you ever watched the DNA? guy? <laughs> the guy? The, no. What is that? You wouldn't be a bit as big of a uh, stink fan. What is fan. that? So the, don't give away my pick. <laughs> Whatever. We all He's know what it is. You're hanging Jesus. out and you're looking in the rafters just for some white face paint. Somebody to come in and save the day. That is what it's all about. Somebody that grips you as a human being. And Sting does that. He is my number one favorite wrestler of all time. Did you watch WrestleMania? Yeah, I was disappointed. I was disappointed. Well, no matter how much the WWE tries to to uh, to to kill his legacy, he is one of the greatest superstars of all time <clears> in the history of the sport. <throat> and he and he looked good for a 56 year old man. 56. Number one favorite. Are you guys favorite? Gonna, it's favorite. It's favorite. So. Yeah, don't bash me for my favorite. Yeah, we did our best of it. He was like my ninth or tenth best yeah. wrestler ever. But favorites. True. When he's on, look, I don't even like wrestling. And guess what I did last year? Bought the network. Because Sting's coming, brother. Sting's your number one, too, eh? No, it's not Sting. But he's the only one. person who's on all three of our lists. Speaking of uh, things that are dead. Oh, oh what oh, about me wow, now? Wow. How can you not say that Undertaker is. How could he be outside of anyone's I, top five? That's, how could he be not top two? But see, even looking at my list, with the exception of the Sheik, I, don't, I would rather watch a Jeff Hardy match than a Taker match. I don't know, man. Just everything about the guy, the yeah. build-up for the fight, the lightning, Are the you fire. willing to make a move here? No, no, I'm not making a move, Truth. bro. I'm, just, I'm, I'm noticing something. Um, you're watching matches for the the crazy stuff that happens two or three times in a match. Just one that's, that's what this looks like. Just excitement. Your match is like 
wrestlers. Like you're looking for a wrestling match. You want, want guys entertainment. Just, you guys just want guys hurting each other or looking like they're legitimately hurting each other. I've got mic skills one through five. Yeah, that's, that's true. it. Like that's I. I honestly, I guess, don't care about what the actual matches themselves yeah. do. All I care about are what the guys can do with a mic in their hand. So the Rock Sting and Taker are Rock number Sting ones. Taker. We didn't match on one. On one, uh, no. I didn't have one that was on any one else. I was forward. gonna say I was expecting Stone Cold to be all the way across. See, <laughs> when it comes to favorites, uh, we, we we've been you didn't talking even about have Stone Cold in your list. Oh, no. he didn't. We were we've been talking about this for a few days, and I love Stone Cold's mic skills. That's true. And then, you know, as a overall, you know, if we're doing the best of, yeah, he'd probably be in the list. But as right. far as he, favorites he go, be. I mean, yeah. who's the most entertaining? Think of the uh, back. What are some of the most entertaining matches? We were this Rick close. Flair matches, Undertaker matches. We were this close to not having the Taker on anyone's list. Yeah. I can't, and I didn't even notice it until he drew it. <clears throat> you know what? I mean, just as mind games. I mean, I don't, want to, see, I don't want to see a tightrope walk in the. <laughs> Even if you go back to the early bits when him he was taken on Diesel and it was a uh, uh, the the casket match and all of a sudden yeah. Diesel opens up that casket and sees himself in there. Yeah, I mean that was cool. He was the he took down the uh, uh, Hulk Hogan in his prime to win his first heavyweight championship when he was untouchable. The oh come on brother take your pills and. All that, but that, but that actually brings up really. You good do a point. horrible Hulk Hogan impression. Well, he does. It, that was just bad. Hulk Hogan does a horrible Hulk Hogan. None of us have Hogan on our list. Yeah, Fa favorites. Just but, kind of. But that's the thing is, it's favorites. And if you go look at like best of lists and best wrestlers, people who rate wrestlers. Yeah. Shawn Michaels is constantly number one. No Shawn Michaels on anyone's yeah, list. Yeah, like, Shawn Michaels either. He was close. I didn't I, watch enough of Shawn Michaels. You know, when I was thinking of pre Attitude Era because that's when I really got into it. Shawn Michaels was there, Yokozuna, Doink, uh, Big Boss Man, all those guys. Well, in my opinion, and this is funny, my the best wrestling match I have ever watched in my life was Intercontinental Championship, Scott Hall, Shawn Michael ladder match. Mm -hmm. That was the best start hey, to finish. Yo. Hey, yo. Razor Ramon. Scott Hall actually. was probably he in could my be uh, close. Yeah. Me too. But yeah. I, I, I would rather I watch... You guys don't have Sting at five. I mean... No, man, He's the stinger, bro. He's the stinger. You know, after he, this is most probably of, weird for most people. I enjoyed Surfer Boy Sting with the bright yeah. colors and everything else more than I enjoyed the last three quarters of his if career. If you think about the biggest point in Sting's career, he wasn't a wrestler. He just showed up in the rafters yeah, but with that, a bat. But how many how many people could pull that off? Well, in in the structure you know? of the storyline. A lot of people could have. I don't know because he actually I think didn't. He just did it in a way. A whole lot. I, but I think I don't think there's many people that could not do a whole lot and do as much. Raven he wasn't on, had, had had equal pops had, at some no, point. No, when he was That's in WCW. Sting wasn't on the mic. Sting wasn't. But it was because titles. he couldn't be on the mic. He's great on the microphone. The great never, might be an overstatement. He he never been impressed. Oh my goodness. Never been impressed. I would like to know what viewers think about that. Comment on the videos. That's, that's me. All right, that's that's this video. We're gonna do this a whole bunch. We're gonna make a whole bunch of top five lists. It's not always gonna be wrestling. It's gonna be a bunch of other things. We'll make lists and we'll argue over them and we'll film them and we'll put them online for you guys. So thank you for watching and look for more videos. Just remember, I'm the guy that picked the taker, not these jackass. <laughs> Shut up. The iron cheek.